Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we're filming with the newest palette from Bella Beauté Bar. It is the recently de-influenced palette. So if you guys wanna see two eye looks, see some swatches, here are my first impression thoughts, then just keep watching. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Karen Harris. I like to film tan girl friendly makeup videos here on YouTube. I post quite often. I think I've posted every day this week so far. So highly recommend subscribing, turning on that bell so you're notified every time I post. And if you could do me one more favor and watch this video all the way to the end, it really helps me out. And thank you so much in advance for doing that. Without further blabbering, let's get into it. Okay, so I'm really, really pumped, you guys. This is the first palette that Bella Beauté Bar has ever sent me in PR, so I feel very <laughs> special right now. This is such a gorgeous palette, and I'm happy to have it so I can create some looks with this. We do have some time before this launches. This is launching on September 20th, so I'm hoping I can come back and do some looks with it, some more looks with it. But today I thought I'd go ahead and give you guys my first impressions on this palette. I have some close-ups and swatches I want to show you guys, so let's get into that. So the cover art for this palette was designed by artist Justin O'Neill on Instagram, and they did tag them on their post. There's eight multi-chromes and seven buttery mattes. It's launching Wednesday, September 20th at 12 p.m. Eastern Time for $69.00. I feel like the price point is solid for eight multichromes and seven buttery mattes. When I was swatching this palette, I was like, wow, it's so crazy to think now that we have palettes that have those amazing buttery multichromes that were coming out, but also offering some corresponding matte shades. I think it just makes for a well-rounded palette. The multi-chrome formula in these palettes remind me of a lot of my other favorite indie multi-chromes like Sugar Drizzle, It's Belle, it has that like really soft creamy consistency. So I'm really, really pumped about that. Of course, I love the theme. So I think this packaging is absolutely adorable. And of course, you're seeing the swatches of the palette. The shades look absolutely stunning. This is definitely another palette where it like embodies fall. I also love that they included two iridescent multichromes. So we have Digital Zombie and Viral, super beautiful. And yeah, all the metallics felt amazing. So I have some ideas, let's see if I can pull them off and let's go ahead and get into some eye looks. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with this brush from Blend Money and I'm gonna go into the shade called Feud. Or yeah, I think that's a U. So it's like a pretty pumpkin orange color. And I'm gonna use this actually as the inner, ooh as the inner corner shade on both eyes. And I'm just gonna build that into the crease as well. That was stunning, like, holy smokes. Also, in case you guys hear shushing sounds, kid sounds, I got my baby monitor here, I'm watching both my girls nap. Well, one is still awake, but she's getting there. <laughs> so I'm just blending this into both creases as well as just putting a little bit on both eyelids and then we're going to twist this look up and I'm going to do a little bit of green on one eye and a little bit of purple on the other eye and I have like a spooky Halloween vision in mind so there's a beautiful green shade called monetize <laughs> oh my god that's so I was thinking like is it monetize nope it's monetize and these mattes are so good Okay, so on this side, I'm going to take this shade called Drained, which is like a really pretty purpley color. And we're just going to start that kind of on the outer corner here. Oh my gosh, I'm playing like my daughter's song machine and it's like ocean sounds. It's like really legit. <laughs> Ooh, I like how that looks. Okay, I'm gonna go into this shade called Energy Vampire. Oh my gosh, I love that. Leave a Halloween emoji. If you have an energy vampire in your life, I would love to tell you about the one right off the bat that I can think of in mind, but 
that might cause some political issues for my family. <laughs> so, oh my goodness. But okay, that's how the look is so far. So I'm going to go back into the same Blend Bunny brush, clean it off on my Sigma Switch, and then I'm going to go back into the orangey kind of shades. I think I'm going to try this one called Paid Partnership. I love these names. They did such a good job. Let me read them to you. So there's Digital Zombie, Bold Glamour, Viral, Feud, Paid Partnership, Backlash, Collab, Drain, Fake Famous, Authenticity, Monetize, Screenshot, Energy Vampire, Depleted, and Lash Lighting. Huh. Wait, do I know what Lash Lighting is? Okay, anyway, I'm taking that shade called Paid Partnership and I'm just using it as the kind of in-between shade between my two outer corner shades. These mattes are so good. I am so impressed. I have their best mattes palette, but these dark mattes, like the way this is just layering is so cool. And I'm trying not to blend too much. That always gets me in trouble. So I'm trying just to add a little bit at a time. I'm going to try a little bit more paid partnership right here. Okay, so before I deepen this look up anymore, I want to try out some of the metallics. So I thought the shade called Depleted looks stunning. It's like a yellow, orangey shade. And the green one was really pretty too. This one's pretty backlash. There's so many options. Why don't I have more eyes? I need more eyes on my head. I wish that I had more eyeballs. Okay, I'm gonna go into Depleted, which is such a pretty multi-chrome. Give it a nice spray. And I'm gonna start on the, oh, look at that. Look at that. It's shifting red for me, so it just looks like a bright red orange. I feel like this is gonna thrive with a finger application. Oh, how pretty. Oh my goodness. Wow. Do you guys see that? It's so fiery. It's so beautiful. I think I'm going to try a different flat brush. I didn't feel like that one was picking up the shade as much as I want it to. So... Actually, let's do this side first and then we can decide. Okay, I think I'm going to do screenshot and maybe collab on this side. Okay, let's start with screenshot. You guys, I can't, I can't say no to this green. Ooh, that's so pretty. It's just like green purple. And then I'm going to take the shade Fake Famous, actually, I think would look cool with that. That looks amazing. I'm just going to mesh the green with the orange. And then I'm going to take my green brush and I just want to add a little bit more of that green matte shade. And then I'm going to take a little bit more of Feud. That looks so cool. It's very different for me. So if you think it's weird, keep it to yourself. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That looks so cool. Okay, this eye, we need to put something in the inner corner. I think I'm going to go with Viral because it's like a really cool iridescent white to orange. White gold to orange, I should say. Wow, I love how that look turned out too. Okay, I think I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead. I like these looks, but I don't wanna keep messing with them and make them muddy up. So I'm gonna go ahead and line the waterline so we can do the lower lash line quick. Okay, so I lined my eyes with the Makeup by Mario black eyeliner pencil and now I'm gonna go into the shade Drained again and take this and use it to connect the outer corner with the lower lash line on the purpley orange eye look. Okay, now for the green side, I'm gonna go into Monetize, which is the beautiful matte green. And I'm just gonna do the same thing I did with the purple on this side. 
You know what this color combo is reminding me of? The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, Michelangelo was my favorite Ninja Turtle and his colors were green and orange. And I don't feel like I've ever done a green and orange makeup look or if I have, it's been a while because I don't remember it at all. Okay, so I like where the matte shades are at. Now we're gonna need to add some shimmer. So I'm gonna take the shade that I used on the inner corner of this eye called Viral and I'm gonna give it a nice spray and we're gonna, woo! Oh yeah, look at that, it's so fiery. It is so fiery, like how, how did they make these pigments? I swear, I would love to know because it's just so interesting. And then for this eye, I think we'll have to use the other one called Digital Zombie. It's like a purpley, oh, that's perfect for this eye look. It's like a purpley blue shift. Look at how like ultraviolet that looks. Okay, I feel all kinds of cool. I tried to do kind of cohesive looks, although I feel like they turned out quite different. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back to give you guys my first impression thoughts on this new Bella Beauté bar palette. Okay friends, so here are the finish looks. I wanna know which one is your favorite, so leave a green heart for this one purple heart for this one because I am nosy and I want to know what you guys think. So before I tell you guys my first impression thoughts on this palette, let me just go ahead and tell you what else is on my face today. So I have on a few things for my shop, my stash. I have the Smashbox Always On Foundation and the Urban Decay Naked Concealer. I will link as many things as I can down below in case you guys are interested in shopping. And then for my face combo today, I reached for the Fenty Powder Bronzer. I haven't used this in forever. So many of my friends, this is their favorite bronzer shade. So I pulled out my shade, which is Caramel Cutie, and I have that on today. I'm also wearing the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin. This is the blush in the shade Jubilee. Haven't used this in a while, so I thought it would pair well with this look. It is such a pigmented blush. And then for highlighter, I just used the RMS. This is the Prosecco Fizz shade. It's just the one shade that they have in their Redimension highlighter formula, so I'm using that. And then my lip combo today is a drugstore combo. I have been really enjoying these Hard Candy Instapout lips. This is the shade my type it's like a pinky shade and then i just use this lip liner called first move this one isn't super duper pigmented but i just figured i have it here so i did try it out but i really like these instapout lipsticks they're a drugstore price product but they're actually really good quality as well so i think that's a win in my book so now that i showed you guys everything that's on my face let's go ahead and talk about this gorgeous palette. So I used about seven shadows today and this is a 15 pan eyeshadow palette. So I still have a few more I need to try out. This palette is so stunning. I think it has such a beautiful color story. Now I did mention in my Gourmand Girls, or no, it was my Adept video that I was gonna have a palette heavy week. And I feel like this is maybe the last palette that I have. That's new that I wanted to show you guys. I did order their Basic Witch palette. Mine hasn't come yet, so I don't know if that's going to ship anytime soon, but then I will post a video with that as well. But there are a ton of videos up about that palette already, so I figured I'd quickly throw something up about this one in case you guys were interested in seeing the color story. I'm sure you guys are trying to decide between all of the beautiful fall palettes that have been launching this week. And I have to say, I am also feeling that because it's tough to pick and choose. I have bought some of these palettes with my own money. Some of them I've been lucky enough to receive in PR. So super grateful to you guys for you know watching my videos and stuff like that. But this palette is very, very pretty. The quality is top notch. I think the metallics or the multi-chromes are absolutely stunning. And the mattes perform really well as well. I was blown away by how vibrant this orange shade is. It was just so bold and vibrant. So I was very, very happy with that. I do have their Strange and Unusual palette. So let's just compare 
it to that palette real quick. So here they are kind of side by side. The flow of these palettes is so gorgeous. I am such a sucker for all palettes being the same size but I could totally see these pairing really, really well together. And I did watch Betty Jean's video with the Basic Witch palette, and she was gonna do, I think she said a palette bingo with Strange and Unusual and Basic Witch, and I think these two would pair well together. So I'm guessing if I had the Basic Witch palette and I held all three up together, they would all really flow well together as well. Either which way, gorgeous palette. Honestly, I don't even know what to tell you guys because I feel like I'm in the same boat trying to decide which palettes to pick up. And so I just picked them all up. I just I just picked picked up all the palettes I wanted that I wasn't getting in PR. And uh, I'm not ashamed of it. Anyways, I think this palette is beautiful. I think the quality is there. I think it's a good price point. I feel like gone other days where you could buy an indie eyeshadow palette for like 40 bucks or like 45 bucks. I feel like now you could get a private label formula for that price, but these custom eyeshadows are costing a lot more. So keep that in mind when you make your decisions. I'm sure everybody's trying to do the best they can with the price points and stuff like that. Either which way, I'm super excited about this launch. Okay, friends, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If there's anything else that I forgot to cover, let me know down in the comments. I'd be happy to help you out. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and I will see you in another video very, very soon. Bye!